Hello, hi. So I am here. Yes, in front of. Uh, <laughs> it's not possible to yeah, but can you see London? <laughs> yes, I am in Westminster. I came from the services at 12:30. So, because um, it's still half an hour for the services, so I had some time to do a video here. Um, it's going to be a little noise, noisy around, because, you know, it's a very busy place. Um, there is something going on around, going around here today, probably. <laughs> You know, people that is going to be protesting against the, you know, Ukrainian war as always. <laughs> uh, yeah. Our planet is really, uh, you know, <laughs> a big challenge for everyone. <laughs> we are always going, you know, again and again. walk in the same path, the path of uh, struggles and war and fighting. Ah, yeah. It's tiring. It's tiring for the, the ones that is a little more upgraded. Because you look around and you can see that it's still far away from a planet of um, of uh, regeneration. <laughs> yeah, you are far away from uh, the planet of love and peace and uh, helping each other, you know, caring for each other respecting each other. Yeah, you will still far away from it. But, uh, you know, I'm very glad. I am very, I'm very happy and I'm very lucky and very blessed to live in a country that is more peaceful. And, uh, you know, more upgraded. <laughs> I'm going to put it that way. Yeah, some people disagree with that, they think that England is not that integrated, but it is. If you look around and if you look in other countries and how, you know, the human right is not, you know, respected and uh, there is no respect for each other, there is no, yeah, you are a little better. I can say you are probably 1% better than the others. But it still make a difference. It still make a difference. I can't live in England. I would never be able to live in Brazil, for example, where I'm coming from. Because there is no respect at all. So even we have been, you know, by some people saying, no, no, it's not. Yes, it is. You are a little more blessed. Let's put it that way. So I was planning to do um, my legacy video today here, but because I know it's going to be too noisy and uh, and uh, it's not going to be that good, so I'm going to do it from home. That is more calm and silenced, so my kids can hear properly what I'm I'm saying. Because I'm going to talk about. Uh, coming to that place, coming, moving to England, moving to London, moving to the UK. Um, yeah, I'm going to do it from home, probably during the weekend. But what I can say now is, I, before, 
about uh, one year and a half before I decided to come to England. I tried to immigrate, not come to England, because I didn't know that I was going to come to England. I was planning to go to Canada. <laughs> that was my, my first thought was Canada when I, I decided to move away from Brazil. But um, during that, um, that time when I was thinking about it, I had a dream, a, a prediction, a prediction dream about my moving. And uh, I'm going to do a serial of my dreams because my dreams are not normal dreams, are uh, out of body experiences. Um, so yes, I'm going to do a, a, a video, a, a series of videos on, all over my, about my dreams because I start to have these predictions these dreams, uh, uh, this, I call them live dreams because they are very lively. Uh, I started to have them when I was about 25. Uh, I don't, I can't remember if I had them when I was younger than that, but because um, this, this time was very important for me. It was time of decisions, very serious decisions. Not that uh, going to Africa was, was not a silly decision or other ones was not a silly decision, but this one will shape my life for the next years, okay? So probably that's why I remember, I start to remember my life dreams. Uh, so yes, I'm going to do a series of that one. Uh, so before I moved to, Eng to England, before I move a abroad, I had a dream about it. They told me yeah, in the future, near future, I would have to move. And my move would be um, over the seas, over the ocean, over the Atlantic Ocean. So, yes, I knew I was going to move. You know, I knew I was going to move. Uh, because my dream sold me in advance, but told me also that it would never be easy. <laughs> they really told me that it would be a lot of struggles in this move. So yes, I was, I had been advised, I, I, I had been uh, told before that uh, this one would be a very big challenge for me and has been. Oh yes, loads of tears, <laughs> a lot of suffering a lot of loss i lose a lot with that move a lot of lo losses yes but all good because now i can see that uh, i can understand i can see the more the picture that uh, the universe was trying to tell me now it's time for me to go inside the church the bells is calling for the service. It's so beautiful, is it? Look. Yes. Today is 22nd of uh, February 2022. So it's a very special date. And um, that's why I am in the church today. Um, so I'm going to go to the service. I'm going to answer the calls of the bells of the church. <laughs> okay, God bless and keep you safe and you also. Enjoy the day and I'm going to enjoy my service in Westminster Abbey. Listen. Beautiful.